Okay, so let's move on to send effects. So as I said earlier, a send effect doesn't affect the signal directly. What you're doing is you're taking a copy of an original signal, sending it to a new channel with an effect on it, and then that channel is sending out the affected signal. Often used send effects are reverb and delay. These are time-based effects, and they add depth to a mix by emulating the sound of spaces. So a reverb emulates the sound of a room or an open space, and a delay adds that kind of echoey effect. So it sounds like we're in a big space and something's fading out slowly. So what we're going to do is set up a reverb on send one here, and then we're going to send most of the elements of our drum kit to it, just to kind of gel them all together and add them all into the same space. So on send one, I'm going to insert, I'll go for fruity reverb two. And now as we talked about the dry and the wet, so as it's a send effect, we want 100% wet signal and we want 0% dry because our dry signal is going to be in these channels. And then we're going to send all the dry signals to this channel and that's going to be our wet signal. Let's leave it as is and see how it sounds. So in order to send to a send channel, we click on the channel we want to send. So first of all, we'll go with clap. And now if we move over to our send channel, so we have clap selected, and then this is our send amount. So we increase this to send more to that channel. So I'm going to solo clap. I'm going to send to send one. I'm going to put it down at zero and I'm going to slowly increase this so we can hear the effect that it's having. So we can hear the effect that's having there. I'm actually going to put this back up to original volume and I'm going to do that again. Okay, so you can hear the reverb there. It's emulating the sound of a space, but also we have our original clap signal that's unaffected. So let's do the same now. Let's send the hats to our reverb. So I click on the hats channel. I go to our send, to send one. Okay, snare. Our clav. And finally, our shaker. Okay, let's have a listen to that. With reverb, unless you're going for an extremely obvious reverb effect, the way I like to have it is just have it subtly mixed in underneath the elements so that you don't really hear it, but it's gluing them all together. But if you were to take it away, you definitely notice that it was gone. So let's just quickly name this reverb and let's have a listen back and see. So as I press play initially, it wasn't a hugely obvious effect, but then as soon as I took it out, you'd really notice it. Let's do it again. So that's using reverb as a send effect. Um, as you can see, send effects are very powerful. They add a lot of depth to a mix and they tie all the elements together nicely. When they're used subtly and they're used correctly, they're an extremely effective mixing tool.